This is a video to showcase an idea I came up with in 1995 for a space habitat which I call the Carousel. The purpose behind the design of the Carousel is to create a space habitat that can support thousands of colonists which provides a more Earth-like environment than the alternatives. The alternatives are three main types of large-scale space habitats which use rotation to create gravity, namely the torus, the sphere and the cylinder. The Stanford torus is a wheel-shaped structure with colonists living around the rim with spokes providing access to the central hub and docking facilities. NASA once developed plans for a torus 1.6 kilometers in diameter which would revolve at 1 RPM to create an Earth equivalent gravity for 10,000 colonists. The Bernal Sphere is a hollow rotating sphere landscaped like an inside out planet which provides a variable gravity environment. At the sphere's equator the inhabitants would experience a full Earth gravity but the closer they are to either axis the less gravity they would feel. And then there's the novelty of seeing people walking upside down above your head. The O'Neill cylinder offers the largest surface area for a given diameter of the three habitat types. Gerard O'Neill produced an in-depth study of space habitats in his book The High Frontier in which he envisaged cylinders up to 30 kilometers long supporting several million colonists. These scenes are from Rendezvous with Rama by Aaron Ross using computer graphics to vividly illustrate the interior of an O'Neill cylinder. With all three habitat types, the environments are designed to provide a natural landscape for the inhabitants who would live surrounded by real woodlands, fields, rivers, lakes and beaches. The strange curving landscapes would seem perfectly natural to their inhabitants and provide an attraction for tourists, but I wanted to design a habitat which looked just like a planetary surface so I designed the carousel, which would be properly termed a beaded torus. A ring of linked domes revolve around the central hub to create gravity by centripetal force. The spokes both support the domes and provide elevators to the central hub, which doesn't rotate to provide zero G and docking facilities. Each dome has a flat base, which is naturally landscaped and the dome-shaped sky is a huge concave video screen that projects a blue sky with clouds during the day and a black sky with stars at night. Sunlight is provided by a set of mirrors around the hub redirecting natural sunlight onto a lens set into a track on each dome which can traverse the dome over the course of a day. Rain is provided by a simple sprinkler system set into the dome which can be set to rain not only at set times but also on particular regions of the landscape. The interior of each dome would look entirely Earth-like to its inhabitants, a natural planetary surface but of a fully controllable climate and no possibility of storms, earthquakes, volcanoes or tsunami. As each dome would have its own independent life support system, it provides vital redundancy so if any dome is catastrophically damaged, people can escape into adjoining domes. This approach also allows carousels to be built and constructed in a modular fashion. The domes, spokes and hubs would be mass manufactured in a largely automated process so that one could assemble a two dome carousel and then add more domes later as the population grows. A carousel can be built with a second ring of half sized domes which, being close to the centre of rotation, would provide environments with half an earth gravity. A double ring carousel 1.6 kilometres in diameter could support up to 60,000 people. It has been estimated that it requires half a million people to provide a fully self-sufficient space colony, so just 10 of these carousels in orbit around Earth could ensure the survival of the human race.